Okay, I'm making this video for some of you so-called sportsmen out there, especially you bass fishermen. Uh, I'm going to talk about the proper method of catch and releasing fish. The, there's a lot of information out there, and there's a proper way of doing it. I'm sure a lot of you are just unaware and uneducated about it, but there's plenty of information on the Internet. So let's get started. If you're going to release a fish, never touch the fish. If you have to touch them, touch them with gloves or a wet hand. Now, you'll see from example here that I didn't touch this fish. I shook the hook off and released them pro properly right into the cooler. I fish because I enjoy eating fish. Some people don't like eating fish. But again, if you're going to release them, Release them properly. There are some products out there, which I'll explain later on in a video, where you can dip the fish. And I recommend that you look into that. When you touch a fish, the salts in your body burn the slime. The slime is a protective layer between the fish, bacteria, and fungus. I have seen a lot of YouTube videos and fishing shows on television where the fishermen kiss the fish. The digestive enzymes in your mouth also burn the slime. And they're holding that fish out of the water, looking at it. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. What a beauty. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Okay, as you see, I released them properly right into the cooler again. No chance of that fish uh, is going to be released and die later on anyways. This is what a lot of you don't realize. The way you're handling and recording these fish, the, a percentage of them are going to die anyways. You're better off just killing the fish and either eating them or give them to a friend. Fight time. As the fight drags on, the fish become stressed. The survival rate decreases greatly. That is, as time goes up, the survival rate goes down. If you really want a fish to survive, don't remove them from the water. Remove the hook while the fish is still in the water. Once you remove a fish from the water, he stops getting oxygen, and this greatly stresses the fish. Also, the sun's ultraviolet rays start to burn and break down the slime. Not to mention the salt on your hands and your body. You sweat and you release salt. Never ever stick your hands in a fish's gill. They're even more sensitive. I have seen shows and videos where they're fishing for pike. And they run their hands right up in the gill of that fish because they're heavy and lift them out of the water. They gotta have their picture, they gotta have it admired, to keep them out for two to three minutes. And this really harms the fish. I have seen some where they drop the fish, he's flopping around on the bank. It's removing the scales and the slime. Then they pick the fish up and release them back to the water. Big mistake. Another thing. Water temperature plays a big part in a fish's survival. Bacteria and fungus are not very active when the water is extremely cold, like in the winter or the fall. The colder the water, the more inactive they become. Again, if you're going to release a fish, there are some products out there that repair and replace the slime. You can dip the fish and greatly increase its chances of survival. I hope you have learned something from this video. The next time you go fishing, do it right and release your catch 
properly.